What is going on guys, Pat on the shop, and do we need to rebalance when swapping pistons? Let's check it out. So first things first, let's talk about this engine I'm putting together. This engine is for a collaboration that I'm going to be doing with Alan Gold. If you don't know who Alan Gold is in your you probably do. You've probably seen some of his videos if you were into uh, this sort of old school engine building. Alan Gold from Gold's Garage. Turns out Alan only lives less than an hour away from me. And uh, we got chatting a couple weeks ago and we decided we're going to make a video together. He has some dyno dates booked. He asked me if I have anything ready for the dyno. I said, I'm kind of in between getting some stuff done, but I am putting together a 383 stroker. I think it'd be a great combination for us uh, to, to kind of dyno test and have some fun with at Dino Daryl's, the dyno place he dynos at. So we uh, end up meeting up at Motorama uh, in Toronto, uh, talk there, and I told him, yeah, I'm gonna, we, with this 383 is on the work. So I don't have any, we don't have any date set, but once I get close, we're gonna set something up. So that's something if you guys are a fan of Alan Gold, and if you're not, check out his channel. Uh, he's a real great guy and uh, very like-minded sort of stuff. We do the same, very similar stuff. So I think it's gonna be fun and I think it'll be a, a great you know session on the down, we'll have some fun. So um, that being said, I wanna talk about uh, some rotating assemblies. Uh, and whether or not to balance is a question I get asked quite often. All right, so you're building your motor. Um, you Maybe you're swapping a whole rotating assembly. Maybe you're swapping cranks, pistons, rods. Uh, this video, is, we're going to be talking mostly about pistons because if you are swapping rods and, and especially the crankshaft, you're going to want to get a rebalance. And I know this is, this is going to be... Uh, some guys are going to be talking in the comments about this, but just hear me out. This is going to be a lot from experience and stuff I've tried. Um, a lot of guys were, were building these motors, were trying to save money and getting things balanced are expensive. So if you're using a stock crankshaft and you have the stock rods and you're swapping pistons, there's ways you can get around balancing and we're going to talk about that when we weigh out these pistons. But if you're, stop, you're swapping in, say, an aftermarket crankshaft or you're doing a stroker, it hasn't been balanced, you can buy balanced kits, but let's say you bought a crank here and rods here, pistons there, you don't know that bob weight in there, you don't know what, what the deal is, you're going to want to get it balanced for sure. Um, and we're going to talk more about bob weights in the next video. But for example, I have the Dingle Ball 355 over there that has an aftermarket crankshaft, an Eagle crank, just a cast crank, and then and I was using the stock rods. Uh, and hyper eutectic pistons. So I figured it, when I calculated it, it should have been close to that bob weight. But I was like, you know what? Let's throw it on the balancer and make sure make sure I calculated uh, the, the bob weight. I don't have a balance. I don't balance crankshaft, so I sent them out. And they called me up and said, hey man, this thing's way out. It needs two slugs of Mallory. Well, guess what? That balance job just got really expensive. Balancing that crankshaft cost me more than the actual crankshaft. And some guys will say, well, that sucks. But really what would have sucked is if I would have put that in the car or assembled that engine and it shook and I had to take it all back out because uh, it was out a lot and way more than what you'd want and would be you know, considered okay. Uh, so that in that case, it was good. So if you're doing an aftermarket crankshaft that hasn't never been balanced and you don't know anything, it's brand new, you definitely want to get that balanced. Uh, second thing is rods. Uh, so we have rotating mass, which is your crankshaft and your big rod ends and bearings. If you're changing rods, oftentimes you want to get balanced too. Uh, not always, but in this video, we're going to be talking pistons. Some people will say if you're changing just pistons, you don't have to balance, but that's not always the case. I'm going to show you the difference between a light and forged piston and a hyper eutectic and a stock piston and give you sort of the range that I use. Uh, when when looking at a piston swap, whether I'm going to have to balance it. This is, and just remember, this is considering, or if you're using a stock crankshaft, stock rods, and that's a known good uh, engine that didn't vibrate before, and you're just doing a refresh. So that's assuming that there was no shakes before, and you're looking at the pistons, whether you're going to have to get it rebalanced again. So let's check it out. All right, let, let me show you first why you can't just say, if you're just swapping pistons, um, you, you can, you don't have to balance because, uh, there's a big difference a lot of the time between a forged piston and a hyper eutectic piston. There's oftentimes 20, 25 plus difference if it's a light and forge. So let's take a look here. So let's take a look at this hyper eutectic piston. This is a three, four, uh, three, seven, five stroke, three, three piston, uh, four Oh 30 bore. 
uh, with a 5.7 rod. And, and this, this forge piston I'm going to show you is the exact replacement. So you can swap these pistons in and out in the same rotating assembly. But the question is, do we have to balance? So 646.5 on that, okay? Um, with the rings here, let's do that. So 685.5. All right, let's swap this out for a forged. Wait till you see the difference here. 572.6. We have over 100 grams difference. Was that 113, 110, 113 grams difference between those two? So that's a lot. But is that is that bad? So let's talk about that. What I do, the rule I go by, and I'm sure people will have different opinions, but this is what I go by. Uh, if you can see this, I go plus or minus 5%. So your reciprocating mass, this is, a, this is assuming your balance was good before with your stock crank and stock rods, uh, and you're just swapping pistons. So let's, for example, let's throw this one on here. This is a stock piston, rings. We're right at uh well keeps dance 716 17 15 9. so plus or minus here heavy would be 752 minus five percent would be 680 that seems like a lot but again this is only a this is makes a small difference in the bob weight because it's only as a it's only included in the bob weight of, at a 50 percent factor so it's only really two and a half percent when you think about it like that um so this this would be uh, 716. Uh, but if we're looking at those other pistons, uh, which came in at 785, that one I showed you there, or sorry, 685, uh, that would be on the lighter side for, for that. We would still be within that range. But if we looked at this KB piston that I often use as a replacement, it comes in at 714 grams with rings. So we're we're right there. So if we were using that KB piston, we wouldn't have to balance. If we were using that forge piston that I showed you, which came in at what, 572, we're way under uh, what we would want to see with uh, within that tolerance. So we would definitely want to get a rebalance if we were swapping that out for a light and forge piston. Um, this again, this is just a general rule I go by, if the balance is good on that stock crank and you're swapping and you're keeping within that 5%, I've never had a shake when I've done that. I've been in customers' cars where maybe they swapped rods and pistons and everything and never had a balance, and they shake like crazy at idle. You can really feel it in that certain RPM. So just for something driving down the street, low RPM, you might be fine, but you're definitely going to feel it if it's if it's out quite a bit. So a 5% rule on the piston is pretty good. Um, and that that, like I said, that doesn't... That's not 5% on the bob weight. That's 5% on the pistons, pins, and rings. And make sure you include, when you're looking at pistons, make sure you include the pins and, and it makes a big difference. Rings, not a huge difference, but but pins make a big difference. Look at that. That's a stock pin. 160. Look at this aftermarket one. 108. Big difference just in pins there. 106. That's the hyper, hyper eutectic one that just in the pistons alone again. Look at that. 540 forged 425 crazy so it's not uh it's not so much of yes you don't yes or no you don't need to rebalance it really depends on the parts you're using so weigh your stock stuff include everything piston rings and pin plus or minus five percent from that number met and then weigh your new stuff if you're within plus or minus five percent you shouldn't have to rebalance. Um, real quick, I wanna talk about this crank right here, uh, and I'll get into this more in the next video. Uh, I ordered this crank from uh, Skip White Performance, and they have a huge advantage as a parts retailer, those guys, and, and people need to know about this. Um, if you need a crankshaft, so if you're putting, uh, there's a couple ways to do it. You can buy a balanced 383 stroker kit, or if you're putting pieces together like me where I had a set of rods and pistons, uh, you can uh, call up Skip White and tell them that you need a crankshaft and they have the they can sell you a crank and they can balance it in-house. So they can offer you a fully balanced crankshaft as long as you give them all the proper weights, 
which we're going to talk about in the next video. So that's it. To me, uh, I actually talked to Skip White, the owner. I told him that's like having a super a superpower. I wish I would have known about this sooner that uh, they they can do that. They have machinists on staff and they can send you out a balanced crankshaft. So that's huge. And uh, once we figure out how to calculate that in the next video, I'll show you how we did that. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks.